This trip is extra special as it will be the maiden voyage of our brand new Kingfisher 3025 GFX. I have been literally dreaming about getting this boat out on the water and I can't wait to test it out. First step in our journey was to meet Brad at Parksville Boathouse and pick up our boat that their team had just finished rigging. Yes. What do you think? <laughs> That's awesome, dude. Oh. Good to see you. Hey, good to see How you, you doing? buddy. I'm good, you? Good, ready to see your oh, new boat. Oh man, that's amazing. Look that, at how good that looks. It's a beauty, it turned out great. I've been seeing bits and pieces from you uh, as the build's been going on, but to see it now put together and buckled right. up is, wow. Yeah, the color, wow. the engines, the gear cases, everything matches perfectly to the boat. That's incredible. Uh, twin 200s. Love it. Full Simrad package. Love it. Can't Thank beat you. it. Thank Can't you so it. much for the, uh, I know a lot of time, a lot of effort went into this, man. I really appreciate all the guys here. Went above and beyond the spectacular. Yeah, we'll put some extra uh, time in. Yeah, but well, let's go check it out <laughs> Yeah, come on in, let's Perfect. take a look. The old wide plank there, nice touch by Andrew. Yeah. It was nice. Oh yeah, wow. Yeah, the door, everything, it's gunnels. Wow. Beautiful. Looks fantastic, it's so clean looking right now. Look at that. 16 inch screen just oh, popping beautiful. there, that Simrad. Oh, beautiful there. That's unreal, man. So some of the details that you don't even really think about until you get into the final stages are rod holder placement, downrigger placement. And this boat we're gonna use, uh, obviously for a lot of fishing, you know, salmon, halibut, lingcod, but tuna as well. So a big thing for us was getting the right, the right alignment for rod placement when you're running yep. outriggers. So you guys nailed it here yep. with uh, run three rods here. We can run two more off the back bar if need be. I mean, you can actually even run rods off the downrigger, but these yep. are clean out of the way. And you guys, uh, I mean, you guys have so much experience doing this one on, yep. on uh, boats. You know, so. you got the Scotty 2106Bs, they're, you know, beautiful. We got a lot of the, the batteries and wiring down below here. Let's have a look at that. I know you guys take a lot of pride. A in, lot of pride in our, yeah. uh, we like to be neat and tidy down here. Everything's labeled. Your downrigger yeah. fuses are in here. Uh, every, all your batteries are accessible here. Great job. Um, so yeah, no. that looks super sharp. Love it. Here we go. This is what I'm talking about. Look beautiful this. interior here. <laughs> That's yeah. beautiful. This is uh, wow, man. This is, it's a wow factor. Right? It is definitely. Just kind of just hits you like uh, stove top here. Obviously fridge. But when I walk in. Tons of room. Look at the room. I mean, I just think of sitting in that helm, right? And, and, and driving this boat and the dashboard, how sharp, how well, slick that looks. Look at that, man. Shockwave seat here. The new, uh, get the Corbin. Yeah, wow. That's how does great. that feel? Pretty comfortable. Yeah? <laughs> it feels like <laughs> you want to get on the water soon. <laughs> yeah, but look at this big screen again. Bow thrusters here. We've got the spotlight or searchlight up there. That's your searchlight, yeah. yeah. You got your autopilot control. You've got your uh, your mercury gauge up on the top right there. Yeah. Wow. It all looks so good. Trim tabs, eh? Trim tabs. The new Sea Star trim tab system. Yeah. I haven't uh, had those before. Oh, they're nice. Yeah. Definitely. They're supposed to be really sharp. Yeah. Very accurate. Um, another 16-inch screen in the front wow. too. I see we got the new Mercury DTS controls here, hey? Yes, we do. We got the SmartCraft uh, gauge up here. Um, so these controls are all fly-by-wire. Um, you can transfer your station here um, to go to the rear station to take uh, control uh, on the back. When, yeah. So when you're trolling or you know coming back and off your trailer, getting back onto it. Um, you know, it's got throttle only. Uh, it's got the sync mechanism as well. Um, you know, it's a really, really good control that uh, Mercury's put out, definitely. It's uh, definitely one of our, our number one sellers. They're slick sure. and smooth. And, slick it, and, smooth. and interface with the SmartCraft system, yeah. like, it, you know, gives all your readings, obviously, and fuel flow, RPMs. Uh, it's got so many, so many little intricacies that, that you can, uh, Kind of get into and yeah and it and so this ties in as well with it's all tied in with the simrad system here right so we can hit mercury here as well we can get all of our controls up here you know your fuel consumption voltage uh, your rpms for both engines here um, you've got your trim trim indicator here speed and um, that all overlays on the back screen as well. So yeah. it's all tied into one one system. It's, uh, so, yeah, so it's really, clean. really, really cool, right? We went with the, the, the six cylinder 
Um, 200s, yeah. yeah, they're a uh, six-cylinder uh, DTS, um, great engines, and uh, as you can tell, they look really cool yeah. to the white. And we've had them in the past, yeah, they've been phenomenal the engines. Like great fuel, econ fuel economy-wise, they're great. Uh, powerful, get out of the hole Powerful, quick. yeah, we're spinning 14 and a half by 17 pitch props, um, inertias, yeah, um, stainless steel. Stainless steel. Yeah, man, it's uh, it's quite the performance machine, is uh, going to be great. It's going to be it's going to be awesome. Well, I think the next step here is uh, get it on the water. Yeah, let's take it down to the water. I mean, right I know I kind of envision this beautiful sunny day to get her out there, but this is yeah, so this, this is, is the reality of the West Coast. Like, <laughs> yeah, there's no such thing as bad weather. This is bad clothing. So this is the authentic West Coast experience right here. So we're going to get her out there tonight. We'll go dump it in. Uh, Odie will tow us out, and you'll. Come on the boat with us and give us a little rundown as we get out there. Sure, sounds good. Let's do it. I can't, right, wait. can't wait. All right. Awesome. Thanks All so right. much. You're welcome. <laughs> All right, Brad, we got her out on the water, man. It's an uh, exciting, exciting day. It's Go been time. a long time coming, man, but uh, super pumped. So uh, we're going to go through a few things here on how to kind of get your boat dialed in when you first get it in the water. First thing we're going to do is you're going to talk about uh, calibrating the compass, right? Right. So right now we're going to calibrate the GS25 compass, which is mounted up on the uh, radar arch. We're going to start with that one, and after we calibrate this one, uh, we're going to go with the uh, Precision 9 compass, and that's for the autopilot under the floor here where the compass is. And so we're just going to start uh, doing a couple of little 360s here to calibrate it. So we'll hit the calibrate button. And you got to do this in a fairly fairly calm area here. Yeah, typically. you want to be in the calmer water, yeah. So right now we're going to calibrate this compass first. You can see we're trying to stay in these parameters right here. Two to three degree turns, right? So it's, sometimes it's hard to keep, so here's our rate of turn right here, right? Yeah. So Keep her in that sweet spot. Yeah, that's right. Compass is doing Best we thing. can. Calibration okay, so we're good for this one here. We want to go to the Precision 9 compass here. This is for the autopilot. So I'll hit the calibrate button here. We'll have to run a straight course. So here we go. Calibrate. So here we go. On the same procedure? It's exact yeah. same procedure. Yep, we stay in the same parameters here, uh, two to three degrees. All right, so compasses uh, calibrated. Great news. Now we're going to move on to uh, max RPM on the engines, right? That's right. So we got uh, twin 200 uh, Mercs on here, the V6 uh, XL, CXL engines, right? That's right. Um, so maybe explain to us how that kind of procedure works. Well, so I just want to see what our max RPM is going to be, right? Our max trim on the engines um, to see what, what speed we get and uh, the max RPM. We want to be in certain parameters, right? Um, we want to be sort of between 5,700, 5,800 type thing and uh, that'll be max trim. And we'll see where we're at after uh, after the test. And basically, we do this just to make sure that we've got the propping right on the boat. That's the right set of props for the boat. Right. So we're running 14 and a half by 17s right now, or right and left. Yeah, so inertia, it'll tell right. us, yeah, inertia, and that'll tell us uh, if we need to go up or down a pitch with uh, props. So how do you know? What is the turning factor to make you change a prop? Uh, well, I'll see what my max speed is and if what my RPMs are. If my RPMs are very low, I'll know that I've got to find a different set of props. So you know in your mind where we should be. Exactly. Right? I kind of want to be anywhere between sort of 56 and uh, 6,000 somewhere. And speed wise, we'll probably. Speed wise, well, we'll see. Yeah. Every hull is a bit different. So yeah. we'll see, see, what we, uh, see what we come up with. Perfect. But, uh, yeah. Yeah, so we've got our speed up here right now. Uh, we're five, we're doing five miles an hour right now, so we'll keep an eye on that, and we'll find out my my trim limit on here as well, and uh, and see what we come up with RPM wise, and that'll kind of determine to where we are with uh, what props we're spinning if we're running the right ones. Awesome. We need to make some adjustments. Yeah. Okay. Let's do it. Hold on. Okay, so let's hold on. <laughs> Feels good. Let's see if I can get a little more. There you go. 37 miles an hour going into it, rides nice. Yeah, I'm happy. And there's not very often you're going to be running 37 miles an hour. And we were uh, 5,700 RPM, so that's right where you want to be. Yeah. Yeah. Pinned? Yeah, that yeah. was fully pinned. I just don't want to leave it pinned for too long, yeah, being yeah. new engines, right? Yeah, yeah. That's interesting being a part of the, the process of doing that. Like, I've never had a chance to come and do it, right? And you always, 
usually show up or the customer shows up and your right. boat's ready, but behind the scenes things, what you guys yeah. go through on every single boat is, it's, uh, it's interesting to just kind of see these details. We got everything calibrated as well. Um, it's almost uh, time to do some fishing next, yeah, I think, Exactly. Eh? Time to see if this yeah, is a that's fishy right. boat. That's right, I, I think it is. I got a good feeling about it. Yeah, yeah, I think so too. Well, did you want to take the helm and uh, yeah. take it for a spin? Yeah, absolutely. Go for a little cruise. Yeah, she feels good, man. Driving our new boat for the first time was, was absolutely phenomenal. Just getting into the captain's seat and getting behind the helm and feeling the steering wheel and, and the throttle and looking at our electronics and how everything was placed on the boat. It was, everything was just perfect. And opening up the throttle, getting our boat up on step, hearing those Mercury engines just purr. And I mean, it just put a huge, huge smile on my face. So Brad, if I want to engage the autopilot, I know a lot of times uh, before I had autopilot, I would just set a course uh, to the cursor. Right. And we can do that similar here as well. Yeah, right? that's right. Yeah. So basically, uh, so pick a course here where you want to go. Yeah, I'll say let's let's make a turn there. Okay. So right. you're gonna want to hold your finger on it for a second. And the menu's gonna open up here, right? So you're gonna go, go to go to. You're gonna go to go to cursor. Okay, you're gonna hit yes, and then you're gonna wanna confirm here. And now the boat is gonna uh, turn us here. Oh yeah. And it's gonna put us on that course. So you can see we're starting to go into it here. Yeah. So the motors right are turning right to starboard. We're straightening us right out on that course. Yeah, that's pretty slick though. That's nice. You know, especially if you're on a, a, a tack, like if you're fishing, maybe you have someone who's not super experienced and you want to hold a certain line, you can just engage that, deal with the fish, release it, or whatever you're going to do, net it. And then right. uh, that just keeps you right on the heading that you want. That's right. And you can also, you know, when you're, if there's a boat coming, you can hit standby. Yeah. And um, then you can steer around it and you can just hit re-engage again. It'll take you to that, uh, that's going to maintain it. Awesome. So yeah, it's uh, it's cool stuff. Yeah, man. I mean, definitely. I love the Simrad electronics. I mean, it's so clean. They're so user friendly. It's uh, and, and a fisherman, this is essential. Oh, a definitely. Boater, it's essential, definitely. right? They have great electronics, and you got to just get out on the boat and get comfortable with it, right? Like that's right. It's and it's go it's through just... different settings and. Uh, Every situation calls for maybe a slight adjustment if you want to get the maximum out of it. So it's just time on the water and going yeah, through and it. Yeah, and it's all time spent on the electronics too, right? getting used to it, right? Going through all the, the menus and the settings and, uh, you know, fine tuning your sonar and uh, and your radar as well. And so this is just disengages it? That disengages it there, yeah. yeah. Well, Brad, that was, that was pretty cool, man. Behind the scenes look. Uh, I, I appreciate all the work you and the staff at Parcel Boathouse has done on this boat. I know you guys got your hands full over there, and um, yeah, we do you right guys now. Non-stop action, especially this time of year. Everybody wants their boat in the water, but thank you for getting us out on the water, man, and, and coming out, giving us a little tutorial here. Uh, can't wait to get some lines in the water and uh, get some fish on this boat. Yeah, excellent. Thanks, dude. Uh, you're I welcome. Appreciate it. <laughs>